Farmerville, Episode 1 Till Those Cows Come Home Traffic Stop Friday, 4.40 p.m. Friday of Halloween weekend, Ron's day was going just like any other day, uneventful. Ron had just heard an update on the radio about a sighting of two armed and dangerous escaped convicts from Illinois, a 45-year-old Larry Smith and Terry Waters, 24, a fact he didn't take too seriously, given the sighting was 300 miles from southeast Missouri. Ron had driven about five minutes out of Farmerville in his police cruiser when a high-pitched alarm from his dashboard radar alerted him to an oncoming speeding vehicle going 90 miles an hour in a 55 zone. Ron recognized the red caddy as it zipped past him. Damn, Holcomb, what's the hurry? Ron turned on his emergency lights and siren, made a U-turn and pursued. During the first minute, Ron thought the caddy was not going to stop, but then it suddenly slowed down and pulled to the side of the road. Ron called in the traffic stop and did a license plate check. Ron got out of his cruiser and maintained caution while he approached until he was sure the driver was Dwayne Holcomb. He didn't know Dwayne and Cindy personally, but their kids were friends of Ron's daughter. What's the hurry, Mr. Holcomb? Ron asked as he walked alongside the driver's side. Dwayne appeared nervous as he hesitated to answer. Ah, yeah, I'm sorry. The lights, badge. I was just frazzled for a second. Ron Farmer, right? That's right. You and the family going to the Halloween festivities tonight? We've been thinking about it. Well, if the kids will let us, that is. That's the truth, Ron said. They're at that age when they don't like us around too much. Our daughters have other plans tonight. Ron laughed and Dwayne joined in, awkwardly, nervously. What's got you in such a hurry, Dwayne? Trying to get to the bank before they close. I got a big purchase in the morning and need cash and I... Just lost track of time. Dwayne's story sounded legitimate, but Ron sensed something about Dwayne was off. Tell you what, I'll let you get going. Just slow down, okay? Dwayne looked relieved, but it seemed a bit much for just speeding. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, and maybe I'll see you tonight. Ron had a feeling something wasn't right, but wasn't quite sure what it was. Dwayne's story sounded legitimate. But Ron sensed something about Dwayne was off. 